Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in Pensacola, Florida, it's time for Pensacola Business Radio. Now, here are your Business Radio X hosts. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Keith's over here broadcasting live. Uh, we've just reached like the International Dignitary Hour. This is awesome. This is a first for me. Uh, welcome, by the way. And uh, uh, I have two really cool guests in here. Well, really one. Stanley just kind of came with you. <laughs> I'm always the support. Yeah. Um, but uh, um, well, we're going to talk about some really neat stuff today. But Stanley, we, we, by all means, please have the honors of introducing our guest. Well, we have with us uh, Kamiko Curtis. Uh, she's been uh, very active in the uh, Japanese community. Uh, basically since the beginnings in Pensacola almost, uh, she's been active for over 23 years. And uh, a lot of it started after she got here and started uh, working with University of West Florida and started uh, uh, doing her college uh, uh, credentials in accounting. Yeah, very neat. Accounting of all things, huh? Yes. Yeah. So um, welcome, by the way. Thank you very much. 23 years. That's a long time. Yes. That's a passion. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, tell me. Let's let everybody know really what is what is Jet Row. What is the 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 um? I mean, I'm sorry. The um, what's the word I'm looking for, man? <laughs> uh, Japan yeah. culture. Yeah. 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 Let, let's talk about the what the actual program is and and how it works and how you've been a part of it. Okay. The uh, University of West Florida has uh, several, you know, um, Japanese programs. Well, of course, they teach the Japanese language there and the cultures. Uh, but also, once a year, we have uh, um, the um, student come mm -hmm. from the Japanese college uh, called Jikkei, Jikkei Group. And a uh, large um, student is major for welfare mm -hmm. and uh, social worker. So they are pretty much... Um, exchange um, ideas and study mm -hmm. with UWF social worker students. So every year um, they come over here and uh, they uh, share the, what they study and what their differences. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, um, this <clears throat> year, um, they come um, end of the November for one week. And uh, every year they come here, the, the one day is their big day, the symposium mm -hmm. that, you know, exchanges their studies. And um, at that time, they they go to hospitals, visit the hospitals, nursing home, and actually they see the, how the uh, United States social work works and um, some of our caregiver, you know, how they work. And they take back the idea and they they Maybe uh, they can improve uh, in Japan how they work yeah. after the school. So is it is it a huge shock coming from Japan to the U.S. for them? Uh, this year, um, I heard that twenty five to thirty people, but one year was like one hundred ten students. That was a good time. Yeah, you were busy, yes, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. So what is, what do you think is the is one of the biggest um, differences or hurdles when they, they're coming from Japan to the U.S.? What do you, like, culturally or, or, or even just logistically with the way that our city works? Uh, of course, you know, both the United States and the Japan, you know, elderly uh, people are increasing. Mm -hmm. And so my, a lot of people in Japan, they are shorthanded for the caregiver and social worker. So, um, they come here and they 
they surprise you know the differences between the Japan and the US um, because Japan is a uh, lot mountains and uh, uh, it's kind of hard uh, elderly people to stay home because uh, you know mountain though you, you have a lot of steps mm -hmm. uh, so they have to go into the nursing earlier age you know stays. Mm -hmm down over here over here you can stay at home and they you know the cars go mm -hmm. you know right to the your house yeah, we, we have a lot yes. of flat <laughs> yes mm -hmm. so that's a uh, big difference do you uh do you do you find yourself um being homesick when you when you have the, when the kids come over and you're kind of teaching them a little yes, bit yes i do yeah. uh, mostly food <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was wondering if you if you asked them to bring yes. some stuff with them mm -hmm. yeah 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 what's the biggest thing that you, you miss food wise food wise uh most of food you can you can get up from here mm -hmm. not like you know 40 50 years ago you have to make everything mm -hmm. no you can go to the oriental store and you can purchase most of everything yeah so it's okay <laughs> nowadays but uh, you have to still you have uh, uh, the food favorite food from that you grow up with mm -hmm. is that's the I miss that's awesome so I, I'm a recovering chef and so oh. Japanese cuisine oh, okay. for me has been fa is, is mm -hmm. awesome it's fantastic so I, I've always wondered the native food you know when you're over there does it taste the same as it does over here um I mean, aside it's, the fact that it's made by mom and and would love, yeah, but it's different. Yeah, even the McDonald's <clears throat> tastes. Are different. Oh yeah, yeah. McDonald's hamburgers taste different. Mm -hmm. My brother tell me that the over here's um, hamburger is so dry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you go to Japan and eat bites the Jap uh, Japanese hamburger. Mm -hmm. It's juices come out of your yeah. hand. If I go to Japan and stop at McDonald's, somebody better smack me. <laughs> there's got to be so much stuff, better stuff to eat. So, so tell me about the the how twenty three years of this. Like, what made you just get so involved and for so long? I just love it. You know, I I looking forward to um, see the new student and. Uh, I imagine that 23 years ago when I met those students, it's already oh. grow up and, you know, maybe somewhere in nurse or working for the nurse and taking care of elderly over there. But uh, it's, uh, it's uh, every year the student is uh, different. And then, um, of course, uh, I can, I miss the Japan and Japanese people. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I enjoy what even the 23. Yeah, it's 30. like a little slice of home, huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, and you were saying, we were talking before the show, but you go back there every year. Almost, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and visit your mom, which I think yes. is, is very cool. And the friends. Yeah. And um, and yet you still get back on the plane to come back here. Like Yes, it takes You're sort of torn, time. aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how long does it take to get to? to... Four, 14 hours, oh, but the, wow. it's, it's, it's got time. better. It was uh, like a, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. it took me 33 hours. And like seven stops along mm -hmm. the way, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's talk about some of the things that are coming up culturally here that are of Japanese representation. And by that, I mean the Bond Fest that, that we've been talking about. So yes. mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's let everybody know really what that is, because I think this, this will be my first time um, seeing it, and I think it's very neat. Oh, Yes, we have a bone festival every every year uh, for eleventh year um, this time. Uh, bon, obon is a big um, holiday event in Japan. Well, every every place have a bone festival. That's uh, obon is uh, um, honors your ancestor. So you you visit your um, family. Um, graves and mm -hmm. honors them but little by little it's evolved and changed and uh, it's becoming like a, more like a family gathering uh much like over here's thanksgiving mm -hmm. nowadays yeah um so that, so so it started as is showing some honor and really re, uh, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Reverend the, the dead. Yes. Past. Remembering and, your ancestors. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. And now you say it's a gathering. So a lot of things that have happened same here in, in the States is it's more of a life celebration. You yes. celebrate mm-hmm. those people that were there and the, how they affected your life. Yeah. Very neat. Okay. So what, what makes a bond fest? Like, what do you have to have in order to do this? Bond fest, uh, we, we have, uh, you know, Japanese food, dance and the music. And we, are uh, um, the, um, the taiko drama come from Epcot yeah, Center. Yeah. They do the show and uh, it's, everybody loves it. Yeah. And, yes. So how many of them are there from Epcot? Do you know? There's, uh, I've counted it. We've had as many as six. Wow. Come with it. But sometimes they're smaller. It depends sure. on if they have other performances going on at the same time. But so they usually send a pretty big crew or yeah. full crew of their drummers and performers. Which is going to be loud and impressive. Bond Fest. Yeah. And when is Bond Fest this year, Kamika? Uh, bond Fest this year is uh, September 9th. It's a Saturday and 12 to 4. It's, uh, we have it at the Washington High on Airport Boulevard. I like everybody to come and see uh, Japanese uh, culture and dance and enjoy the food. Yeah, you had me at food. Honestly, <laughs> I'm there. Um, were there t- are there tickets to get in, or is it? Oh no, this is a free to public. Oh, so awesome! Everybody, family friendly. Yes. Mm-hmm. See, perfect. You're gonna have so many people there. Yes, <laughs> free. To mm-hmm. public, family friendly, and food. Yes, and and then we get some really cool entertainment. So, mm-hmm. um, can you tell me a little bit about the drums and the drummers? Because I think those are very unique instruments to mm-hmm. Japan. Oh yes, they have many different drums. Um, the the group name is Matsuriza, and uh, I think it's mainly the families and. Now the day they have uh, other persons uh, in a group too, but uh, uh, like a wife and a husband and mm-hmm. daughters and daughters of hu- husband. Mm-hmm. It's uh, a family affair. Yes, <laughs> but they're in an Epcot Center every day, and they also teach the drama over there. They have a drama class over mm-hmm. there. But uh, they they love the Pensacola, and they come every year to um do the performance yeah very neat <laughs> what other type of musical instruments do do they sometimes use oh that, they they do uh the wooden flute flute mm-hmm. and also uh they do uh shamisen it's a japanese instrument it has uh, three strings and uh, it's harder to play but uh yeah they play that sometimes so I've done the tour of the world around Epcot, um, um, the the drinking mm-hmm. one, right? That's that's, yeah. that's so much fun, um, and that, so I've seen them play, and oh, I and I, I, so I know exactly what I'm about to walk into. And for those that have not, it's really really impressive. Um, talk to me about sort of this is Japan's influence here in the. I did not know that there was such a large presence here in Pensacola, and that's partly because of your work for the last 23 years, I'm sure. But there's a there's a big tie here. I think a lot of it started from what I can see. And I have only been involved since 2007. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, Kamiko pulled me in. So 10 we years, that's pretty good. So, <laughs> you know, uh, and uh, I mainly started because the groups needed help marketing mm-hmm. um, since they were so small, uh, especially volunteer group organizations, how they were. But uh, a lot of it, I was so impressed when I first saw the Japan House. A lot of this came and spread from uh, Shigeko Honda's work, uh, the president of UWF at the time, uh, Morris okay. Marks, uh, they were all the creators of getting that Japan mm-hmm. house here in Pensacola. And a lot of people still do not even know about it yeah. around the country, even I, Japanese. I was one of those guys. <laughs> That's right. And so I find it when I go and talk to business leaders, uh, trying to create economic mm-hmm. development with Japanese companies and other businesses, uh, have you been to UWL? Uh, have you seen the Japan house mm-hmm. in uh, Pensacola? No, uh, this is the first time I'm hearing about it. Tell me about it, you mm-hmm. know. So it's still like a lost frontier right, for a lot, right. of, a lot of people. But I think a lot of it spread from that and a lot of the organization, the work that Shigeko and Dr. Morris did back uh, in the early years 
started a lot of these nonprofit groups we have, which Kamiko, if you would explain some and talk about some of those uh, groups that are here in Pensacola that create these activities. Do you know we have a Japan American Society Club? I do now. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, um, they have a Japanese New Year Festival. In fact, coming up January, every every January we have that Japanese New Year Festival um, by that Mm -hmm. JAS group. And also um, jump event we have in October. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's coming up. And that jump, it's called Japan-U.S. Military um, Asso- uh, Program. Program, mm-hmm. yes, which, which means that uh, the people, the military people, uh, members of the military uh, who served in Japan, uh, they come over here and they love the Japan and they wanted to involve Japanese culture. They, we just have uh, appreciating those members. Uh, we have uh, that in, in October. Yeah, October 9th. In Naval Air Station Museum. Mm-hmm. Yes, so that's, I like everybody to come and see also. It's free to public and open to public too, so. That's and so up too. there's a lot of, uh, obviously, between the Navy and the military here, there's a lot of, of co-workings between uh, those cultures, right? Sure which is. is, which is, I'm assuming, brought a lot of the influx of, of people. They did. Yeah. They really do. Uh, and that, uh, matter of fact, that goes along with the, the Japanese population. Really, when you look at Northwest Florida, it's not that large. Mm-hmm. Maybe uh, 0.1% of the po- mm-hmm. uh, overall population. Uh, which would put it around four to 500 actual Japanese. But that fluctuates to the, when you have military families sure. moving at, in yeah, and yeah, out yeah. of the community. Yes. Yeah. Very neat. So what's next? Because you got Bonfest, you got October, mm-hmm. then what? What, what then, do you get to go home and work on today? I'll go home and work. <laughs> I have a meeting coming up for Bonfest. So, yeah, we're planning for uh, booths and food and, you know, Mm-hmm. I would keep it busy. It's, it's go time, time, huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So it, is there space if anybody else still wants to be involved in Bonfest to, to help out? Oh, sure. we always looking for volunteer. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, for, I mean, I want everybody to come and enjoy it. That's a yeah. big thing. Yes. Very neat. So, um, and, and I got a question actually about the Japan house. Does it, is it all done? Does it look like it would if it was a house in Japan? Not the exterior. But, but the, the interior? The interior. Uh, tell them a little bit about the tea room. Oh, we have a, uh, I don't know, it, it, it's a straw floor that called tatami. That's uh, for the tea. Actually, they do have a tea ceremony there. And they also teach you how to do the tea ceremony. And, and lots of Japanese... Uh, the stuff that donated by the Japanese, local Japanese people. Mm-hmm. So that tatami too, it's stored and taken care of by the local volunteer Japanese people. Yeah, that's probably a pretty honorable position, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So um, we were talking earlier about my fascination with Japanese culture, but is that one of those things, the, the tea ceremony that every, almost every Japanese person would would practice is that is that something that like has to come with you not no not if you we have a um if you like <laughs> but uh, i never done it yeah um you don't like tea do you uh i do but uh my problem is i cannot sit a long time on that time. <laughs> yeah you know that the legs fold mm-hmm. i cannot do that <laughs> Yeah. So, and I've never honestly liked tea very much, which here in the South is like the biggest crime ever, you know? Um, but I was, uh, uh, never a tea drinker. And so, um, I don't think I've had it the ceremony either, but maybe we can do it together one time and we'll yes. stand. Can you stand? You can't stand, huh? Uh, they have a chair. Okay. You can use the chair, the <laughs> new way to, yeah. to do the tea ceremony. Yes. Yeah. So what are some of the other big, um, 
cultural things that like have to come with you. Like no matter where you are, they're the things that are honored from from Japan culture. Japanese culture. Um, in UWF, there's a uh, foreign paper group. They come over there and then uh, they teach the uh, foreign paper. It's called uh, origami. Mm-hmm. Maybe you heard that. Yeah. Yeah, you can take that class too over there. Yeah. Yes. So, and, and that's a big thing, huh? Mm-hmm. Yes, and because that the <clears throat> teacher, her work is excellent. I mean, she, you know, that affording crane, mm-hmm. she can make a tiny, tiniest crane. Um, I don't know how she does it, but. The, yeah, it's talent, you know, though. Yes, it is. Yeah, I, and I bet it, it's got to be somewhat therapeutic, I would think, yes. just to figure that one out, yes. right? Some brain teasers for you. <laughs> Um, is there a website for the Bonfest anywhere, or, or where can we send them if they want information? Uh, there, uh, we've got posters. I would say uh, uh, feel free to contact uh, Kamiko, mm-hmm. and she can get them in a right uh, contact with uh, Mickey uh, Hatsu Black, mm-hmm. uh, who's the always the uh, former of this organization and the uh, Bonfest every year. That's been doing it for eleven years. Very cool. Mm-hmm. And we'll take. A, I'll take a picture too and put it up on our site okay. when we when we post this from today. Well, thank so. you, Keith. But another thing that you might want to explain, like the uh, when you come from Japan, uh, I noticed Japanese are good listeners, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. they're not like Americans where you interrupt, <laughs> you know, and all that. Like I do a lot of times, but uh, even they're very respectful. Mm-hmm. To others, and does that still is the new generation of Japanese, the younger ones, still bringing those or keep holding on to that part of the culture of Japan? Depend on your uh, how you grow up, but uh, like I said, uh, the more countryside you go, more customs still. You know, keep going, yeah. and uh, yeah, those um, children are still pretty much yeah. Still, still using and customs see, for, that have been around for thousands of years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've always been so impressed with is how long those those customs have maintained. So, yeah, it's, nowadays uh, it's it's changing, but yeah, still some families are keep. Um, those they hold it pretty strict, yes. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, very cool. So, um, <clears throat> I know we're, we're not. I don't want to get into too much politics at, at all. But how does um, how does the government of Japan work? And I'm I'm really curious. Is it is it the same as here? Is there a democracy? Is there a how does it work? Democracy, but um, they are pretty much controlled a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Even the school, the um, school um, books are all the same. Uh, that's why no, we have a lot of dialect, mm-hmm. uh, but all the school books book are the same, and we, we, the way we learn is all the same. So we have uh, everybody understand you know, what you're saying, mm-hmm. even though we have a different dialect. Yeah. So I don't think I've... I, I... Every Japan person I've met, ever met has been very, very smart and very, very good at math. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not too. I, I'm not too good about business, but mm-hmm. I, I imagine the Japanese government pretty much control um, some of uh, business. Yeah. Uh, you cannot. <clears throat> it, well, I think over here is more free mm-hmm. for business people. Yeah. So but, is the uh, our, our Western ways, is it really changing, I guess, that socialist uh, system? Have you seen that taking place, our Western culture uh, as uh, affecting the Japanese socialist way? Yes, a little by a little, I think so, yes. Well, I've always been impressed with the curriculum that I've, that I've seen. Like the things that, that the children were learning in schools, either we didn't learn at all, or we didn't learn until later grades. I've, I've always been impressed with that. So just, just curiosity for myself. That's all. Um, what, uh, tell me about the sister city thing. Oh, sister city. We have, a um, 
every year the sister city called Gero, Gero City, people uh, come over here, um, visit Pensacola, and also that the people from um, Pensacola go visit over there and the stays homestay and enjoy the like a uh, overseas family mm-hmm. relationship and they're still keep going um it's origin it sister city is uh, originated like a 1993 mm-hmm. but still keep going so and how many people get to go at a time like sign um, me up by the way <laughs> Like a twenty people yeah. to come over here, and um, I think fewer people go over there. Yeah, but, and so uh, w- what happens? Like we give them like the tour of of sort of Pensacola and in, in the U.S. and and kind of yes. inform them on everything. Mainly, they go to spend the time in a host family, and whatever the host family take you and just to show around yeah. um, Pensacola. That's that's how I think yeah. they're doing. But well, which is and then and then the families in Japan do the same thing for the. Yes. So you know mm-hmm. that's neat because you really get to see how the mm-hmm. people live as opposed yes. to being a, a tourist or on mm-hmm. vacation or something. So the, there's no set schedule. Or anything. Yeah. Yes. You just kind of hang out, huh? Yes. And eat really good food. <laughs> so when what year was Pensacola or the date the mayor and all that sign making uh, Garo City the official sister city with Japan? Uh, the sister city relationship was started in 1993, but the signed sister city agreement was in 1998. Wow. Wow. Very cool. So it's official. Like, they, they, that's the kind of state of the sister city and, and every year they've been sending people over. So how, how do you get to go? That's what I want to know. Uh, there's a, um, there's a waiting list, isn't there? <laughs> If you go, um, if it, you can go on your own, yes, you can go okay. yeah, your own anytime when, but uh, I have to find out when they go, then you know, they just go wrong, yeah. So, I would, I would think of something that, um, far away and that much difference, it's much easier to travel with a group, yeah. Yes, you come and translate for me. Oh, there's a plenty of people. <laughs> better like, than no, I do. <laughs> Very cool. Well, it's, it's all that sake that they make yes. in Gero City mm-hmm. that you're trying oh, to stay yes. away from, huh? Gero very is neat. a very uh, country in a mountain, and they have a beautiful river, and it, it's good sake making place, and also hot spring. Very cool. Which is okay. So sake is made from rice. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's a little different. I do know that. I do know but that I when you drink it, it's a little clean different. Clean water. Yeah, to, to make it. Yes. Hmm. We're going to have to talk about that when we get done here today. So I'm, <laughs> I'm curious of the, the sake making ways. Um, Stanley, is there, did we, have we missed anything? Well, uh, the only thing the, a lot of people don't realize is how important Japan is uh, as far as <clears throat> economic wise and business wise. Yeah. Uh, they play a huge part. We don't have that much business you know we do have the atachi plant in pensacola mm-hmm. uh which basically was here through a buyout of another company mm-hmm. but uh yeah uh they are like uh number one in foreign uh investment uh as far as property in the right, state right uh plants and equipment uh they are number two in trade import uh with us uh, one of the biggest things they we trade with them or they uh, buy from us is our, our grapefruit. Oh, really? Not. Yes. Had no idea. So uh, that that's interesting. Uh, they're, uh, if you combine imports and exports together mm-hmm. out of Florida, they're like uh, number uh, five. Wow. In trade relations and partnership in trade. Uh, so that's huge. Yeah. Uh, with all the jack. Well, with the Japanese-owned, and let me emphasize, owned companies Mm -hmm. that are in Florida, uh, there's over 26,000 people, Floridians, employed by these Japanese Hmm. companies. So it's huge. Yeah. Why? Why? um, Why Florida? Are we just? Is are we just friendly that way? No. uh, If you'll look, and a lot of people, uh, uh, our number one industry is tourism. Sure. Sure. So. 
Oh, since two thousand. We came, we saw, and yeah, we right. decided to stay. <laughs> so, to, since two thousand and eight, mm-hmm. uh, we've seen the tourism from Japan double, and in sometimes parts triple. Mm-hmm. Uh, just uh, since twenty sixteen, we've had over three hundred thousand Japanese visit or to wow. Florida. Wow! So we're on the map. So, so that that helps. Yeah. Uh, in a lot of areas, not over, not only money wise, uh, back into Florida's pockets, but also we're showing them that, you know, we're ready for business mm-hmm. and they have a company that's ready to expand in the neighborhood, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've so got room we, here, don't we? We sure do. <laughs> Very cool. Well, go ahead. No, good. Okay. So we are, uh, we're getting to the end of time here. I want to thank you very much for spending this lovely rainy afternoon with me. <laughs> and, uh, and Stanley, thank you very much for, uh, for having her come with you. Well, thanks for having thank us. Thank you very I much. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. And I look forward to be back on the, the 26th of September. Yeah. We talk about the, uh, first time ever Florida aerospace yeah, this and will be uh, cool. aviation, uh, s- summit coming yeah. up. So I gave you the code to the, eleva- to the elevator. So unfortunately, I can't keep you out. <laughs> well, we may have to br- uh, bring Saki. The <laughs> there you time. go. Yep. Yeah. No, <laughs> see, now you're always welcome, right? So um, uh, again, thank you very, very thank much. Thank you very much. And uh, please uh, come and enjoy the Japanese uh, food and culture. Yeah. And also, you can join a member too. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah, so you won't miss a thing, huh? Yes. Is it Kamasaki? <laughs> oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. maybe. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, guys, you can find us at Picola Radio X on Twitter. You can find us at Picola BRX on Facebook. Or you can find us on our webpage at Pensacola.BusinessRadioX.com. This has been Pensacola Business Radio, where business is good and your work matters. Mm-hmm.